Okay, hi there and uh, welcome to a micro video this time looking at the idea of disequilibrium in a market. Uh, you'll be familiar with the idea of equilibrium prices uh, where demand and supply are in balance. So a disequilibrium is a situation where the market price is not at an equilibrium, where demand and supply are out of balance, leaving either a shortage or a surplus. When there's excess demand, that implies that currently market prices are too low. Let's take a look at a diagram showing this. The equilibrium price here is PE, quantity QE. Well, if the current market price was P1, lower than PE, then there would be excess demand equal to the distance Q1, Q4. Now that shortage, that excess of demand over supply, puts upward pressure on the market price. And we should be seeing a price moving back towards the equilibrium. So excess demand is when the quantity demanded exceeds available supply. And it happens when the market price is below the equilibrium. Typically, we end up with a queuing system or an upward pressure on price. And those higher prices tend to ration demand to those consumers, those customers, with an effective demand. In other words, they have the willingness and the ability to pay. Now, typically, in a, in a situation of shortage or excess demand, prices go up and then that should stimulate an expansion of supply as producers respond to the profit motive. They can make a better return by increasing production to meet higher levels of demand. Here's a good example. In the used car market in the UK at the moment, car prices in the used car market are going up uh, in part due to supply shortages. Here's the, here's the quote. Continued demand from consumers for used cars and a shortage of wholesale supply led the UK used car market, the second-hand car market, to see increasing prices this autumn. Uh, in contrast, in excess supply, well, then market prices are too high. Here's the diagram to show it. Again, the equilibrium will be PE, quantity QE, but at price P2, can you see? There's an excess of supply over demand. Supply is Q3, but demand at higher price is less at Q2. There's, that leads to excess supply or surplus. And of course, if there's a surplus in the market, there's downward pressure on the price. So excess supply is another state of disequilibrium. There are unsold goods in the market. Surpluses tend, tend to put downward pressure on the market price. And as the price goes down, then that brings more consumers into the market. Their effective demand goes up. That helps to lower the surplus and nudge the, the market, hopefully, towards an equilibrium. Here's a couple of examples of excess supply. Um, natural gas prices have been falling recently, particularly in the United States. Uh, natural gas prices capped the biggest November drop since 2001. As forecast showed, no sign of the teeth-chattering US cold. In other words, uh, natural gas prices tend to rise during the winter months, when, they, particularly if there's a very cold spell, but uh, unseasonably warm temperatures have lowered the demand for natural gas, leading to an excess of supply over demand. And if we take over, look over to India, uh, the price of rice is falling. Export prices are falling to their lowest level in three years this week, as fresh supplies from the summer sown crop loom large. In other words, there's been a Bountiful crop and excess supply from the from the summer harvest, supply ahead of demand, leading to excess supply. There we go, a quick look there at disequilibrium in the market.